to roll the dice. By chance they came on Devil's Game, and gosh, they paid the price. Paid the price. And now they're fighting for their lives on a mission fraught with dread. And if they proceed but don't succeed, well, the devil will take their heads. Hello, everyone. So, I guess I've decided that I hate myself, and I'm not stressed out enough, because I've decided to play Cuphead. The uh, Netflix show just launched a couple weeks back. Everyone's back on the Cuphead train. I've somehow managed to avoid it the past few years, and I was watching someone else play through it, and I thought, eh, how hard could that really be? And I decided to find out for myself. Turns out it's pretty hard. I played through about maybe halfway through the second island off stream, and I realized that I may not have chose my items in the wisest fashion because I was struggling. So I decided to start over, brand new game, and fuck it, why not stream it while I'm at it? So uh, the rest of y'all can share my misery. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get started on a new save file. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Edel Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellows can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by the easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. Th there must be another w way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, p p please, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts. And you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do is check my controls. Because I actually remap the vast majority of these. Uh, yeah, okay, we're good. 
just to make it a little more comfortable on the Xbox controller for me personally. I don't know why you'd have X to shoot and A to jump when you're pretty much constantly holding down the shoot button, but whatever. <clears throat> so the tutorial I actually skipped the first time through because, you know, it's a platform shooter. How complicated could it be? Uh, and I quickly realized what a mistake that was. Because uh, there's a coin at the end. Oh. And especially early on, every coin counts. Because I think there's a total of uh, 14 coins on this first island, which is just enough to buy two power, two, uh, what are they called? The weapons. I forget what they call them on here. And two charms, which are more like passive abilities. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Three coins. And the shop is conveniently located. Now that I have four coins, I can buy whatever I want from here. So, first time through, I took the uh, the spread, because high damage seemed like a good choice at the time. This time, however, I'm actually feeling the chaser, because the chaser just makes the run and gun levels kind of trivial. And I'm going to do those run and guns first so I can get more coins and buy more stuff. Take the shortcut around and get to the mausoleum. Get my super while I'm at it. Nah, I'll have to do the second running gun first. That's fine. Okay, let's do this. Get started. This first island's really not too bad. I mean, I had trouble with it when I started because, you know, I didn't know any of the controls. There's a learning curve to get past. But with this chaser, I mean, it's really, it's pretty easy. I really haven't tried using the chaser on the other running gun levels. So I'm wondering how long it'll stay uh, useful for. Not great at parrying, which is unfortunate because that's like a huge part of this game. There is a charm you can buy that'll auto parry, at least for the first one in a combo. And that was pretty useful first time I played this. But I think I'm actually, that's going to be one of the things I don't buy. Um, because if not, I won't have enough coins to buy all the, uh, all the weapons until I get to the third island. And I've been going through like all the bosses in my head trying to figure out trying to figure out what weapons would work good for them and which one I could leave behind potentially and there's not really any I feel comfortable not getting before the third island so I'm gonna leave the parry charm and hopefully I can just uh, get better at parrying pink stuff and we won't need it until the third island some of the later uh, bosses I'm definitely gonna need the auto parry Um, so while I haven't played this game before, except for, you know, 
maybe a couple hours now. Um, I have watched a full playthrough in the past, so I'm familiar with all the bosses and levels and what weapons may or may not be good on them, so I have a general idea what I'm doing. I'm just not uh, very experienced with actually playing it. <laughs> kind of difficult to do an invisible dash when you don't have it equipped. <laughs> All right, pork rind. Yeah, give me that dash. Yeah, smoke bomb slash invisible dash is... Most people seem to agree that it's the go-to charm. I like it. Um, I also kind of like the heart charms. <laughs> I always fuck up that parry. You woodpecker, fuck you ladybugs. There we go. Alright, this is where the chaser really shines, because I can just sit here and point up and kill everything in my way. Now, the chaser doesn't have great DPS. I think it's only like 18. Whereas the pea shooter's 30. God damn it. Come on. Luckily, I only really ever run into that on this level where if you jump off and there's nothing below you, you do take a damage. But I still think that's stupid. Like, just let me fall down to the floor below. You know what I was trying to do. Especially since you can only take three hits. To waste one of them on something stupid like that is kind of annoying. But whatever, the levels only take like two minutes, so... It's no big deal to have to restart. That was close. <laughs> Much closer than I would have liked. to the screen just there, but kind of freaked out. <laughs> okay, not going to get the best grade on these first few since I'm not bothering to parry, but... You know, just like that, I already have all 14 coins on the first island. That's all the running guns done, so it's boss fight grind time. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to buy? I'm going to buy the spread and the heart. And that'll be the last charm I buy for a long time. The rest I'm just going to focus on buying the rest of the weapons. Want to get more coins on Island 2. The group pack in Botanic Panic. A brawl is 
So something I did realize... Oh, well. I wanted to equip my spread. Uh, should I do this one first? Or maybe I'll try to get the mausoleum. Yeah, I can just go to the mausoleum. Alright. Be gone, spirits. So oh, wait, you're real. I was about to hit you with the old parry move. That's how you deal with ghosts around here. Only a nitwit tries to shoot someone who ain't really there. Speaking of not being places, what do you fellas mind moving on? You're spooking the fish. Alright, might as well get my super moon. <laughs> the first time I did this, it took me so long. Because while the ghost can't hurt you, I'm thinking, oh, this is super easy. I just need to parry them all. No big deal. And I kept dying. And I had no reason why I was dying. I just couldn't figure it out. I must have played it like... At least ten times. Dying at random points every time. I thought it was glitched. So eventually I got frustrated and just Googled it. I'm like, oh, make sure not to let any ghosts touch the urn in the middle. Or you'd instantly die. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense why they're not coming for me. They're just all heading towards the center. I think I could have pieced that one together myself, but <laughs> nope. Victory! Now that I know that, it's super easy. I guess this is supposed to serve as like a kind of a parry tutorial to let you get good at it. Where are my manners? I didn't even introduce myself. I am known as the Legendary Chalice. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. It should help. There are other mausoleums around Inkwell Isle. I just wonder. So yeah, the mausoleums give you the super moves. Dear me, you mustn't forget that magical super arts have to be equipped in the menu before you see it. Thank you. Yeah, that super's gonna make these boss fights a lot easier. Alright, now let's take out the root pack. Here's a real high class bout. And begin! Mm. Actually, let's go with that. I guess Chaser for this guy. I don't want to get too close to him. Maybe I should have gone Pea Shooter. I've at least brought my DPS up a little bit. Okay, I think Onion I can just burn down with the spread. Oops. See that parry? I'm just no good at the parry. That's easy enough. Just stay in the middle, lock myself in place, and spread shot it up. If I do die in this boss, it's just from stupidity and clumsiness. So there's really no reason I should die here. Nice and easy. Getting another B. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a B. Okay, 
Do I want to do Ribby and Croaks now? Yeah, sure. So, my first playthrough, I really liked the roundabout weapon. But after looking into the actual damage, it's barely higher than the pea shooter. So, I feel safe saving until later and just using the pea shooter for now. Now, roundabout's really nice when you're running away from a boss. That was a stupid hit. Whatever. But for bosses like this where you don't really have to run away and you can just shoot in one direction, the pea shooter's just as good as roundabout. Come on, frog. Alright, final phase already. So far, so good. Oh. That was a stupid hit. Oh, and this is the worst one. As soon as he opens up here, gonna hit him with the super. Okay. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. All right, I just need to be a little smarter this time. animation style for this game. Apparently it's all hand-drawn, which is why it took forever to make. Uh, and the music is just awesome. did pretty well financially because it seems to be a pretty big hit. I mean, big enough to get a Netflix show, right? So hopefully all the hard work paid off for uh, people that made this game. You can tell they definitely put a lot of love and time into it. That seems my favorite. So I just sit at the back of the screen and... Oops. <laughs> and as I say that, I fuck up. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Trying to parry the pink stuff gets me in trouble. Ah, let's go to phase two. Super you real quick. Because I don't quite understand how the super meter works. I'm not sure if it's when I do damage or it just recharges over time. Okay, it looks like it's only when I do damage it recharges. Goals. Okay, I think 
Maybe. <laughs> so before I was playing this, I'm playing on my Xbox right now. Uh, Series X this time, but before I was playing on a television. So I'm starting to think that maybe, um, be smart. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I was right there too. I'm thinking maybe the screen I'm playing on, I'm a lot closer to it. Having trouble seeing the obstacles and not reacting quick enough. Because I was not having trouble with that last... No, I'm not even fine. Alright. <laughs> I need to pay attention. Yeah, like, my monitor is a... You know, it's a fairly decent size, and I'm only sitting... a foot and a half, two feet from it. I definitely can't see the whole screen, um... without moving my eyes around. I think that's fucking with me. Off fireflies. Bulls. That was better. After this fight, I think I'm going to push my monitor back. Uh, I got 3 HP, so even if I take a hit here. My eyes are having a hard time keeping up. You can't have much health left. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Should get a decent grade there. I got a few parries in and... Oh, I got no parries in. That must have been one of the runs where I didn't. Still big. That's okay. Harumph! I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. Rumpf. So that little guy's just telling you that there's a, a hidden coin spread throughout the map. The one on the first island you can't get to beat all the bosses anyway, so. Oh, uh, let's see. Ooze. What do I want for the ooze guy? S spread and chaser? Yeah, I think that should work. That's okay. Let's 
so the roundabout would actually be pretty good here. Chaser goes back a little bit, but half of my shots aren't turning around. A roundabout would just fuck him up. Luckily it's early enough and he's easy enough to where I don't need to worry about it. I can save roundabout for later. avoid him in the middle of the... <laughs> keep doing that. Three. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Last up, hit him with the super. close. Oh, that was very close. Come on, die. Yes, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, another one bites the dust. I don't even know what you can pair on. Do you have to all three of those pink question marks? Maybe. What's that? You two want to fly? In a plane? Like I do? Ha! You're not sitting in any cockpit till you study those blueprints. plain ones, uh, Smoke Bomb does not do me any good at all. So I'm going to turn on the heart instead. Hildeberg and Threatening Zeppelin. This one took me a while the first time. Looking back, I don't think it's actually going to be too, too bad. It's probably just hitting a learning curve the first time. Uh, what do you got? Oh. 
<laughs> I forgot he turned to a bomb in the plane. I was expecting a uh, whirlwind. Kind of like that. Oh, asshole. But that's what the extra heart's for, right? Box me out there. Uh, what you got? A moon face already? Yep. This one kind of sucks with the UFOs. Kind of just like hang out the back, and if they don't spit it out before too long, you kind of just have to go tiny and go past them. Yeah, there we go. First try. Not bad at all. Even had a super at the end. Yeah, I think I was, I was one away from an A there. Damn. A plus section. Not bad. Not bad at all. This shit gave me a lot more trouble the first time around. I can tell you I was definitely not on track completing the first island in an hour. Alright, only one left and it's the flower. I think maybe Chaser or Pea Shooter is going to be the way to go here. Hmm, Smoke Bomb or Heart? I'm trying to remember what her phases are like and if the dash is going to come in handy. I don't think it really does. I'll stick with Heart. Cagney Carnation in Floral Fury. This match will get red hot. It's on. Be shoot away. This was another boss I struggled with early on, and I think with the chaser here, it's going to help with these ads. If I can get through the first phase without taking any damage, that'll be pretty good. Yep, okay, phase phase, no damage. We're out of super. Not bad. some unforced errors now. Get that thing out. Ugh. Well, I was doing really good. <laughs> that stupid thing up top was distracting me. Right, that was easy, though. Oh, 
Yeah, I got him. Alright, I'll keep going, but that was no bueno there. Barely avoided that one. Alright, super's coming up soon. There we go. Right, where are we going? I wasn't even expecting that, just... That was quick. That wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, that probably took me like an hour the first time. Maybe not a lot. Not that long, but... At least a half hour. Shit, in like 40 minutes I'm almost caught up to where I stopped. That just shows you the learning curve in this game. I was just reading. You didn't miss much. I gotta get better about that. I mute when I like cough or take a drink of water and I always forget to unmute myself, so. Oh well. Guys, hang on. Thank the stars I caught up with you. I believe I found a way out of this mess. You. My streaming indicator is actually blocking that last word, so I can't see what it is. Hot dog, you have? Your strength is growing. You'll soon be a match for that no-good King Dice and maybe even the devil himself. Golly, do you really think? I do, but you'll never get close to the devil unless you already have those soul contracts in hand. Only then will you get a chance to turn the tables on that fiend. So when that time comes, do the right thing. 